Breakfast in Bed, Part 2. Yes? I have no water in my room, Regina. Well, in that case, you need to call room service. They'll bring it to you. Then call them. It's my day off today. I can even ignore my phone calls if I want to. Really? Is it so difficult to bring a glass of water to your mother? Mom, I'm not even at the hotel. I'm really sorry. <sighs> Sassy girl. Take my word. We'll see when you come back from your day off. Brazen, talking back. Good morning. Bon appetit. Do you need something? I just wanted to say hi. There is literally nowhere else to sit, so can I join you? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I said no. Okay, whatever. Bon appetit. Also, that color looks terrible on you. I really just wanted to apologize. What? If I sit at another table, I'm just gonna have to yell. And you know, nobody wants that. Forgive me. Let go. I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. I just wanted to leave the hotel without being seen. It wasn't supposed to be a situation. Look, I'm not interested. You wanted to apologize, didn't you? Can you sit somewhere else? No. I wanted to apologize for something else. I'm very sorry for calling you a plain Jane. You're an incredibly beautiful woman. And you have an amazing body. What? I mean, I just saw you from behind. Nothing else, of course. Let's go on a date tonight. Hmm? Are you crazy? Take your hands off me. Come on, please. How about tonight? I'm busy. Tonight? I'm going dancing. Are you talking about the governor's ball? Yes. Oh, come on. Don't bother with that. It's gonna be so boring. Let's go somewhere a little more interesting. I want to go to the ball. All right, if you want. By the way, we can always dance there. Save the first dance for me. This is not your floor. Yes, you're right. Natasha asked me to switch with her. Oh, that's so very kind of you, Volashina. <laughs> Come in, please. You know that I don't make decisions over the phone. Yes, take a plane and fly to Berlin. Well, what can it be? I'll call you back. Arena, are you... Are you a maid again? Uh, I, I brought you fresh towels. They brought some this morning. Oh, they did. Uh, I didn't know. Excuse me, I won't bother you anymore. You're not bothering me. I'll get that. Thank you. Arena, you're still mad at me, aren't you? <laughs> no. Is this breakfast for two? For two people. Come in. Here's your breakfast. Well, I won't bother you. Um, it's not what it seems. What does it look like? Breakfast for two. You're in a room that is not in your floor rotation. Artem, please excuse me, but why do you try to pull the wool over the eyes? The silly, I don't know what you're talking about. I came here for something else completely. It's true, she's right. I 
was about to have breakfast with a business colleague. Okay, okay, I apologize. It's none of my business. Hello there. Uh, good morning, Irina. <laughs> uh, you haven't changed your mind, have you? Uh, we wanted to discuss your, uh, uh, to discuss your funds regarding your offer. Um, I ordered breakfast for us. Only if you don't mind, of course. Aren't, aren't you busy? Me? No, it's just housekeeping. We're all done. Thank you. Uh. What's this? Uh, tips for the towels. Thank you. It's free of charge. Bring me some water. Give me five minutes. Okay. Please forgive me, but I don't like our guests having affairs with the staff, and you've humiliated that poor girl with tips. In my opinion, that's going too far. Excuse me. So it didn't work? No. Arena. Arena. Stop. Arena, stop. Arena, come back. You need to try again. No, I won't. He kicked me out. He put me in my place. Last time I saw him, he was looking into my eyes, but in public? What? He gave me a cash tip. Was there someone else in the room? He had invited Stein for breakfast. You should have seen the way she was looking at him. How do you know what kind it was of business they're in? She was undressing him with her eyes. Stop. Don't show your feelings. This is business, not personal. I don't care. He can marry her. Yes, it's business. That's what it is, business. Yes. I'm doing this on my own terms yes. instead of begging. What time is your shift over? At 3 o'clock. Then I have to go to the bank and... After that, I have to drop Tanya off. Mom, yeah. don't worry, I can handle it. You're strong. Don't panic. Everything will be okay. I can do this. Absolutely. Yes, I can. Yes. Oh, well, I had been dancing in Munich. There we've gotten acquainted with Henry. He admired me. Do you like ballet? Huh? Do you like ballet? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I rarely go to the theater. I don't have much time for that kind of thing. I completely understand. I don't have any free time either, but I can find it for you. Would you like to go to the Bolshoi? Thank you. I don't think so. Have you been able to look over the original fund documents? Certainly. Uh, please excuse me. I, I put it in by accident. That's okay. <clears throat> Actually, can I take a look at that? Yes, of course. <clears throat> this is a jewelry catalog from the local store. I haven't seen it yet, but there are some interesting things. <laughs> this one. Charming, isn't it? No doubt. Uh, but we need to finish our business. Oh, please look at this. What an elegant necklace. Oh, pardon. Mm. Oh, pardon me. It's okay. Uh, I think it's a little too flashy for my taste. Oh, are you looking for a gift? I'm not sure. Oh, don't be shy. You can tell me. Come on. I'll be glad to help you. Well, who is she? A relative or a lover? Neither. I've offended someone. Mm. And I want to apologize now. Mm -hmm. But jewelry won't help in this case. So let's get back to business. Girls, a little more energy. Higher now. Easier, Volashina, easier. What are you doing? May I be excused? My dad is Okay, I'll give you five me. minutes. Girls, continue, please. Daddy. Well, go change your clothes. We'll go get an ice cream like Daddy promised you. That was days ago, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go after I'm done training. How long should I wait? 30 minutes. Huh. I'll go wait for you in the hallway. Okay. You know, your mom is angry at me. She's so stubborn. She can't understand. There's only one thing I want, and that's to help you. You better talk to her. 
Honey, please tell me. Did your mother say anything about me when I left? I think so. Or anything about the house, if she was calling anyone? She did. She said that she would never sell the house. Huh. Then she started crying. Then Mom and Grandma decided to go get Uncle Artem for help. Oh, wow. And who, who is that Uncle Artem? It's a secret. Oh, yeah, yeah? <laughs> and where does he live? I don't know where he lives, but he has such a beautiful car. It's more beautiful than yours. <laughs> he drove me in his car. He also has a bodyguard. And now, none of the bullies at school will bother me anymore. Hey, go back to class. I'll be waiting in the hallway. Go Bye. Bye. Ah. <laughs> well, Lashina, let's start again. Okay. Hello. Guess why she's being so daring? It's because she found a benefactor. Some guy named Artem with a bodyguard. Then think of something. It's a lot of money. Uh-huh. Like what? You think I'm a magician? I don't know. Maybe burn it? Burn it? That's an interesting idea. I like it very much. Yes, it's a good business plan, but you can only get a business loan if your company has been in existence for at least three months. If I understand correctly, your company isn't registered You're yet. You're right. I haven't registered it, so what can I do about that? Well, you can try and apply for a personal loan like most people do. Do I qualify for a loan? I'm not sure. You could be guaranteed up to $20,000 if you're approved. But you need to have a co-signer regardless. So what am I supposed to do? Maybe you can offer the bank your house as a guarantee. But my house is worth more than $20,000, so I can't really do that. <sighs> well, then I'm sorry, but there's nothing else I can do for you. Thank you, sir. We don't have enough money, sweetie. I really want to come here every day. Well, I'll talk to your dad then. May I suggest something for you? Recommend something to yourself. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Why does this necklace have no price? This particular necklace is much too expensive. Mm. It's one of a kind. It's made for those who are not concerned with prices. And how much is it? It's not for sale. What do you mean? Really? There's a deposit on it. So we really should take it out of the window now. But who bought it? I can't really tell you. Is it one of the guests? You should buy this one. I think it suits you better. It's definitely your style. <sighs> so rude. What's the matter, sweetie? What's going on, honey? Please talk to me. I'm very worried about you. Hmm? Did the trainer say something to you? No. Daddy. Daddy? When did you see him? He came by when I was training. Mm -hmm. And then he left. Because... Please go on. All right. Why did he leave? Daddy wanted to get some ice cream. And I told him that Uncle Artem had driven me in his car. And that he was cool. And that his car was more beautiful. Mm-hmm. Tanya, why did you tell your dad about Uncle Artem? First, Daddy asked me some questions about you. If you would talk to anyone about the house. So he said that, all right. Daddy is mad because of me? Because of you? <laughs> of course not. I think he's mad at me because I won't listen to him about what to do with the house. Will you make up with him? No, Tanya. 
now. Daddy doesn't care about us at all. He only cares about himself. So tell me what we need him for. Hey. Look at me, sweetie. Everything is fine. We're gonna be okay. Do you believe me? Don't be so upset, my sweet girl. Hmm? Everything is going to be okay. Did you want to say something? No. Arena, by the way, this is for you. It's your invitation to the ball. And the invitation still stands. Would you accept it? I'll be there. Are we leaving? She's offended. She won't even look me in the eye. It'll be all right. She was just kind enough to accept your invitation to the ball. So trust me, she'll be there. Really? Even after, uh... Look, Artem, I have no idea what you're talking about, but you should believe what I'm saying. She gave in. I told you, they're all the same. It's all just a game, Artem. At first they pretend, and then... Stop it. Please, Artem. Please, Artem. Let me handle it. All right, sir. So are we leaving? Yes. Then why did you accept the invitation? I don't understand. I don't know, Mom. I don't know. I thought there would be interesting people there, and I need to meet someone. Someone who might be interested in my project. What dress are you going to wear? A dress? <laughs> I'll go in a business suit. I'm a businesswoman. I'll wear a suit. Mom, what are you talking about? What? Look in the internet. You're all full in gowns like princesses. Mm -hmm. You should listen to your daughter. Hello. Hi, Tanya. Hello. So when are we going to the Olympic Games? We can't even get Mom to go to the ball. Tanya, be quiet. And what are you talking about? Excuse me, please. Didn't you sell that necklace? No, of course. Uh, and no one bought it? No. Are you sure? Your colleague had just told me... Do you mean me... Daria told you? Well, I really don't know. People are often interested in it because it's very beautiful, mm. but... Nobody bought it. I'll buy it. How much does it cost? It costs 860000 How much? Yes, that's 860 Quite a jeweler you've got here. These are brilliant. One of a kind. Mm. Can I? Sure thing. Let's make a deal. Please put it aside, and I'll come back later. And by this evening. We're open until 7. Great. As long as you don't sell it to anyone else. Okay. Do you only have one invitation? Natasha, don't you understand? There will be businessmen, artists, people from high society. Mom. You're a hotel owner. You are a businesswoman. How could I be a businesswoman? I'm just a nobody. I don't even have a dress to wear. I know who can help us. I'll be back. Hey there. Hi. Well, we need your help. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's try this one. Yes, excuse me. I'm just, um... It's okay. Let me help you. Here you go. <sighs> oh. I'm really sorry about all this. It's okay, don't even worry about it. Everybody does it. First they buy the dress, then they come back and return it saying it didn't fit them. Just don't cut off the label and keep it clean. I'll help you. Okay. Hope it fits. Okay. Thank you so much. Your sister is a miracle. Maybe I can try something on as well. Look around. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> Look, I'm just here to help Arena. Are you still offended? Mm-mm. Ugh, I'm sorry that I was rude. I was in a bad mood. Let's make peace. 
I really miss you. Nobody talks to me in the corridors. I miss you. How are you doing? You know, I'm fine. Nobody's rude to me in the hallway. Come on, I didn't mean to. Ooh. Not bad, but too many jewels. I like it. No, Natasha's right. We need something more modest. Please tell your girlfriend that she doesn't need something more modest. She has the most beautiful shoulders. She needs something that shows her body. Try this dress on. I like it. I'll do it myself. I'll try that one. Okay. Is Arena your girlfriend? You were talking about Shh. her, weren't you? She's not my girlfriend. I just told my sister that I need to help this girl. And so maybe she thought I was talking about Arena. I really do like this dress a lot. It's perfect. We'll take it. <laughs> yes, please. Mm. No, no, I can't. I don't have enough money for this one. You'll return it tomorrow, won't you? Yes, but I'm still not able to buy it, even under those conditions. I'll help you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Guys, I appreciate this so much, and I'll give you your money back by tomorrow. Come on. <laughs> Are you going to yes, work? Yes, let's go together. No, I'm done for the day. By the way, where did you get the money? You've spent so much money so easily. <sighs> What's it to you? Just for interest? I've been saving money to buy something. She's 30 years old. Who? Arena. And? Well? Why are you being so clingy? I told you she's not my girlfriend. Clingy? Am I being clingy? You've told me about her. I like this girl older than me, older than me. Please forgive me, Natasha. Just forget about it. Please. I'm so sorry. Someone as beautiful as you should be kinder. You think I'm beautiful? Oh my god. You've already closed everything? Why not? It's already 7.05. <sighs> Please make sure you lock everything and okay. the door behind you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Huh? Yes, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh! Thank God I made it. Sorry, we're closed. Wait, we agreed. And I came back here to buy that necklace. I'm sorry, we are closed. But you're standing right here. Yes, but everything's in the safe. I can't open it because the key belongs to our manager. The register's closed. Then I'll complain directly to you. I'm sorry, please come tomorrow. It's your fault that you're late. I told you that we close promptly at seven every night. Excuse me. Regina. Good evening. How are you? I've been shopping. Let's see what you bought. What's the color of the dress you bought? Blue. Hmm. I hope you've left some money on my card. Ah! Oh, it seems I've lost the key to my room. Do you have an extra key? Yes. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. Here's your key. No. Uh, hey, you forgot about me. Uh, Mrs. Stein, open the door. Go away. Don't cry behind my but door. But you've taken all my things. You won't get it. You don't need it. Stay at home. Mom, mother, open the door. If you say a word, I'll burn your clothes in the bathroom. Understood? You won't go to the ball. Hmm? Mom, 
That dress looks so beautiful on you. Oh, you think so? Not bad. But you need something very special for that. Like what, Mom? Surprise. Mother, Mom. Come around. I thought we could not only borrow the dress, but borrow the necklace as well. Do you really Opa. think so? Yes. Wow, my goodness. How oh. beautiful. Thank you. I was worried about the dress, and now I have to worry about the necklace, well, too. Well, it's costume jewelry. If something happens, we can pay $100. Seriously? $100? Is that all? Only $100. Well, I think it looks just great. You see? It's only smoke and mirrors. Thank you. Gorgeous. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Ooh, so, am I ready for the ball? Yes. Like a princess. The king's daughter. Regina? Regina, open the door. I know you're in there. Regina? Mm. Excuse me? Yes? You're Dasha, aren't you? Natasha. Come here. You have the keys for every room, haven't you? Yes. Great, open it. But it's not your room. This is my assistant's room. I've called the receptionist, and he told me she was in the room, but she doesn't open the door. She has a weak heart, and I'm so worried about her. I can't even fire her. Yes, of course. Come in. Regina? She's not here. I see. Okay, I'll call the receptionist to find out. Regina. That's strange. Anybody? It's a beautiful party. But of course. Good evening. Mr. Glenn. Hi. Hello. Well, that explains that. <laughs> Careful. No pictures, please. Thank you. Irina. 
Good evening to all you beautiful ladies and elegant men. We are honored with your presence this monumentous evening, and we thank you. Instead of buying refrigerators, washing machines, TVs for the orphanage, your donations will go directly to the families of the potential adopted children. I also wanted to express a deep and heartfelt appreciation for the board member of this fund, represented by the wonderful and lovely Irina Stein. Thank you. For her generosity and hard work. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to dig deep and be more proactive and give generously to this wonderful charity event. Let the ball officially commence, everyone. Waltz. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Rina. You showed up. I did come, but please don't get the wrong idea, okay? Please forgive me the cash tip. I meant no harm. I feel like a dumb fool. Yeah. Yes, I... I wanted to thank you for giving me the opportunity to come here tonight and... <sighs> Would you like some champagne? Mm-hmm. Hey, Irina. Where is your assistant? Are you here by yourself? I asked you a question. I have no idea. She happens to have the day off. Irina, I wanted to... Are you busy? Oh, I've been asked to dance, but I refused and now he's leaving. Pardon me. <laughs> Is that your daughter? What? Where? Why do you think so? <laughs> I sent out the invitations the other day for Irina and Regina Stein. I thought you were here with your daughter, but I've made a mistake. <laughs> your assistants made a mistake. Regina, Irina, they just wrote the same name and it was a mistake. You see, my daughter is very little. You understand? Oh, I need a little more champagne, please. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Thank you. Artem, sir. Arena, excuse me. I'm afraid I need to step away for just a moment. Sure, Fetter. Thank you, sir. Are you having fun? To be honest with you, no. There are too many people and... Paparazzi, I just feel so embarrassed, you know? Why? Please don't. Just try to relax and have fun. 
I really need to talk to you. I hope it's something good. I'm so tired of talking business all night. They all want something from me. For example, right now, excuse me. What's going on? A man is about to walk by mm -hmm. in a gray suit, mm -hmm. wearing black shoes with a glass in his hand. Yes. Has he walked by yet? Yes. Hold on, please. Is everything all right? Yes. Thank you. You're wonderful. It seems you're the only one who's not interested in doing business. It's nice being with you. Is something wrong? Yes, I need to make a call now. I need to go outside. You can make a call in the library. Do you okay, want me to great. go with you? No, no, thank you. How beautiful. No. Yes. <laughs> Mom, it's impossible. I can't. What do you mean? You're not going to have another chance at this. What chance? What are you talking about? No. You stay there and you do what you went there to do. You'll dance and be flirtatious. Did we waste our time dressing you? Maybe. Does Mom want to leave the ball? So... Well, okay, don't think about it. I get it. Tanya and I are not at home alone anyway. Where are you? We decided to... Have some tea with Ivan. So, you don't need to worry about us. The decision is yours. Okay, I, um... Thank you very much, um... Tell Tanya I said hi. Goodbye. Oh! I had hoped you were still here. <laughs> Why would I leave? I'm not here to quarrel, dear. I have a proposition for you. Mm. Excuse me, what's your name? Arena. If you leave the ball, I'll pay you for it. <laughs> Excuse me, what? You don't belong to that place. Gordon's not for you. Maybe, but that's none of your business. Oh, well, of course it's not. But I have to be honest with you. You're getting in my way. Listen, aren't you afraid that I could tell Mr. Gordon about this conversation that we're having at this moment? Then you'll just be a gossip girl, Dasha. My name's not Dasha. I'm sorry. My maid's name was Dasha. I can't get it out of my head. I'm gonna stay here. Do you really think you've hit the jackpot, dear? Don't be naive. Gordon will leave that place and he'll forget about you. Why do you need this? I can give you a chance to earn money, and nobody has to know. How dare you? I don't really care what you think about me. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. You just don't fit in. In spite of the gorgeous gift that your lover gave you. It's not a gift. This is my necklace. Yours? Yes, it is. I'm interested in just how you've bought such an expensive piece of jewelry. Or have I missed something? Maybe you're a queen in exile? Hiding incognito? <laughs> Excuse me, just who do you think you are? Actually, I am the owner of that house. Mm. My, my name is Arena Voloshina. I have a business meeting here, and I have to end our conversation now. Our time together is done. Indeed. What a fool. What an idiot. Regina, what are you doing here? I'm stuck. What do you mean? The balcony door is locked. All right. 
Just... It's really locked. I told you! Stay calm, okay? Hold on. Thank you. Come here. Climb over now. How? No. Come on. No, no, no it's going to be all right. I promise. Please. Hey, I'm look at me. Heights. Look at me. Hey, Don't you look at me. I'm hey, calm down. Do you trust me? Um. Okay. So I'm going to help you across the fence. Okay? Just hold oh, me, okay, you. please? Hold, hold me, please. Please, please. I'm holding. Please, please, I'm hold holding. Me. It's okay. Hold okay, me. it's all right. Uh, we need to get an extra key from the receptionist. The receptionist? It's the middle of the night. Thank you. Please wait for me here. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, please let the fundraiser begin. During our campaign, Give Hope for Children, we will be pleased with any act of generosity. You can pay by cash. What if I have no cash? And yes, by card. I'd like to take this opportunity to make the first contribution to a remarkable and kind and generous person to the beautiful Madame Voloshina. Please welcome her. Here is Madame Voloshina. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to donate so generously to the fund, aren't you? Yes, of course. But unfortunately, I don't have any cash with me. That's perfectly fine. You can write a check. Yes, but... Oh, excuse me a second. Are you going to donate the necklace? Dear friends! Please, applause. Madame Voloshina wants to donate her beautiful necklace to the cause. It's incredible. Oh, everyone applaud. This is really expensive. a generous donation. Thank you. There has been a mistake. Pardon me? It's actually worthless costume jewelry. You were given the necklace. Don't you know the price? It costs about $100. Oh, my God. You're more ridiculous than I could imagine. What, what? Nothing, thank you. I'm sure the money from selling this necklace will go to one of the families with so many children. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please, let us recognize this very generous gift from this lovely, lovely lady. Applause. Yes, Mom? Arena, you need to come home right now. There's a... There's a fire. What? Where are you? The house. The house is on fire. You need to come home now, Arena. Mother! Arena! Tanya! Tanya! Mommy, it's me. Everything was fine. We wanted to make it cozy and put candles what were everywhere. What thinking? How should we have known? Ivan, what happened? Enough. What? Everything is okay. <coughs> the house looks okay. Almost. Well, it burned for a short while. Well, if we hadn't had that tea party... Then the house would have burned down. We were lucky to have been there. We caught it in time. What are you talking about? They say somebody set fire what? to... What? What what? Somebody tried to burn the house down. <gasps> Somebody wants to destroy this house. And now, I've ruined this dress. Now I have to spend my whole paycheck to pay for the dress. Arena, let's just sell this house already. I don't like this anymore. I don't know, Mom. It's such a shame to lose everything. Oh, Uncle Artem. Hello? Hello. Tanya and I are going home. Tanya, let's go home. Hello. My name is Daria, Arena's mother. Nice to meet you. I'm Artem. Nice to meet you, too. Tanya, don't worry. Mommy will be in real soon. What? What are you doing here? I'm sorry if I'm being intrusive. Why did you leave? Did I offend you? I've been worried about you all night. No, I got a call and I had to... I had to go. Did something happen? <laughs> yes, yeah, something that happens a lot. What? Seems like recently I just keep getting in trouble all the time. I agree. What's that? I agree that I am trouble for you. Yeah. You, well... Well, what kind of trouble are you? You're just the opposite. Oh, so I'm pleasant. <laughs> well, at least someone says something nice to me. Everyone else is always talking about problems, business... Are you tired? Yes, a little. That's too bad. I would love for us to go somewhere together. No. Let's just get some fresh air. <sighs> Let's just breathe. Yeah. When was the last time you sat on this swing? In the 10th grade. Although it was different, it was new then. Why aren't you asleep? I saw you through the window. Good God. Mm -hmm. Spying is bad, even Tanya knows. <laughs> uh, Here. Where's the necklace? Ooh. Mom. It's a complicated story. Well, short version. There was a fundraiser for needy children. What did you do with it? I did not have any money with me, so what happened was... Where is the necklace? Stop interrupting me and I'll tell you. I had to donate it. It will be sold, and all the proceeds will 
benefit the children's organization. You did? Mom. Wait, well, I understand that a hundred is half of your salary, <sighs> but I'll get it. I'll pay for it. I'm, I'm sorry. Just ask them for a little more time to pay. It cost... Almost a million dollars. How much? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> you said that... It's costume jewelry. It costs one hundred dollars. There's a stone. A diamond. It's five... and a half carats. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> oh, Lord. Dear, you have no idea what you're asking. Please, I have to take it back. I'll give you the money. But this necklace, you see... I understand. Your lover asked where it is? No. My mother gave me this necklace. She borrowed it from the jewelry store. Indeed. Is it really possible? It is. She works there. What? So this is your mother? <laughs> Don't laugh, please. Uh, I'll try, but uh, everything you tell me is some kind of absurdity. <laughs> yes. And take the cup away. I am not your maid. That's right. Then what are you doing here? You didn't respond to my request. I did answer it. It's impossible to take back the necklace. But what difference does it make if it's money or a necklace? Here, take the money. But it's already bought. Who bought it? I have no idea. This information is closed. I'm begging you, Mrs. Stein. Please, you have to help me. Even if you get down on your knees, the necklace is gone. I'm sure you can get it back. I can't do anything for you. It costs a million dollars. Wow. Well, <laughs> that's worse for you. Listen, you set a price. I put it. The necklace was bought. I do not know who actually bought it, but I can only... Envy the lucky person who bought it. Not for a million, but for 10,000. <sighs> Why are you lying? You know everyone who was there. Know what? I do not know the actual buyer, and I really don't care. Well, ask around. I don't understand. What did he see in you? What did you say? Nothing, just thinking aloud. I wonder. I can only hope your mother had it well insured. <laughs> So? What? It's already sold. <gasps> and the money? For a hundred dollars. That's it? I'm calling the authorities. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Mom. Oh my god. Fedor? Mm. Fedor. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. I have lightning reflexes. Come on, let me ah! go. Ah! Crazy. It's a good thing you don't have a gun. Otherwise, you would have shot me first and apologized uh, later. I do have a gun. Oh, that's awful. Uh, wait, where are you going? <sighs> to the receptionist. Wait. Where do you plan on going in your cute pajamas? I'll just tell them I fell off the balcony and survived. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, because you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stay in the room. I'll be back.
police just got here. I hope without the lights flashing. Yes, everything is just as you asked, in plain clothes without any noise. All right, thanks. Mom, do you need another pill? No, I don't, thank you. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know. That's All enough, right. calm down. Daria, it's time to go. Please, take it with you. Well, that's it then. Mom. Don't you worry. Stay calm. It'll be fine. Mom! Well, Ashina, if you wanted to be taken out quietly, without any embarrassment, then don't you dare make a scene. And you're fired too. I'm tired of this circus we've got going on. Mom! Pack your stuff and get yourself out of here. Take her. Let's go. <sighs> Get inside. Mom! Arena! Mom! Arena! Mom! Tell me, where are you taking her? To the police station. What does station. that mean? Mom! I'll get you out, I promise! Visits at the station must be approved by the investigator. What does that mean? Temporary detention. First, she'll be processed and taken to holding. Mom! Mom! I'll get the money, Mom! You hear me? Listen to me! If I get the money for the necklace, will she be released? Do you have that kind of money? I will find it. As long as you earn it. Otherwise, she'll be in for a couple of years. <laughs> oh, you're here. Come on, tell me. How did it go? First it went well, then horrible. No. Come on, tell me everything. From the beginning. So you got there. Yes, I got there. So? Were the journalists there? Oh, I was photographed. Tomorrow I'll be in all the papers. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And then I left the ball. Why would you do that? I was tired. And what about him? And then he came looking for me. And then what? First I fought the fire in the house, and then we went for a walk. In the cold? Uh-huh. Why are you lying? What is it that you don't believe? Is he a fool to walk around in the cold? If you don't want to tell me, then don't. But you went to the hotel, didn't you? Natasha, aren't you interested in the fire? Forget the fire. You'll tell me about that later. You better tell me. Were there a lot of celebrities? Did he promise you anything? And did he give you anything? You'll find out everything from the newspapers Arena, tomorrow. Arena, come on, tell me, I'm curious. Natasha, you're curious about garbage. Arena, what's wrong with you? And where are you going? Well, I just quit. You're lucky. So that means everything is okay. Regina? Regina! We'll stay a little longer next no, time? No, we'll meet tonight. Please. Promise? I promise. Okay, see you tonight. Good morning. Good morning. Now open it up. I'm not dressed. <clears throat> Regina! Hello, room service. Room service. Hello. Hello? And when can I clean the room? Just come back later. Okay, I'll come later. Hello. Hello. Hey, kid! Good afternoon. Wait here. Give it to me. But, uh... Yeah. Thank you. Have you lost your mind? What? Alcohol is not allowed in the room. Should I fight with him or what? You're always in the wrong place. For some, I may be a blessing. Oh, and Arena, by the way, is not interested in you. She has a millionaire. I'm very happy for Arena. She deserves it. So why is she better than me? Nat, are you envious or jealous? Jealous? No way. Are you out of your mind? If you sell it with the house, why? Then it'll be twice as cheap. You can't build a high-rise there. That's an architectural monument. We can bribe some officials, and that's it. The main thing is, is she agrees to it. That fire really scared her. Just don't make the wrong face. Pretend buyer's already ready to walk away. Madve, why are you late? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? 
Arena, in short, there's a situation. What? The client doesn't want the house, only the land. So that's why he's offering only 30,000. How much? 30,000. Are you out of your mind? I will sell it for a lot more through a real estate company. I doubt it. No one's willing to deal with you. Come on. I'll go to the nearby city. There are realtors there too. Someone with more connections than the two of you. Just let it go for that price. Well, that price. Huh? It's a good price. Listen, in order to build a high rise, we need to tear everything down. It's a big expense. I said no. We won't negotiate any further. This is the last offer. This is a robbery. Do you want it fast or costly? If you want it fast, then you should agree. But if you want it costly, let's look for another buyer. It will take some time, a lot of time. Think about it, you have my number. Let's go, I still have business to do. What do you mean, you still have business? The client is in jail. He wants to put it in the will, he's very ill, and you know, it's not a resort. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing? You're just gonna leave her on the steps? Go do Keep it. Keep your back straight, she'll call us in a minute. Well, what if she doesn't? She will, she will. And then? Be quiet, be quiet. Woman always calls. One, two, three, four. Wait! I'll do it. You look terrible. Thank you. Not too many pictures of you, and a lot of her. Wearing a necklace, which is really similar to the one you wanted to buy. So this is it? How can you live with that? Tough. And she's beautiful. She's a thief. What or rather, her mother, the saleswoman. She wanted to dress up her daughter, took the necklace from the store window, and her daughter gave it to charity. <laughs> Such an expensive one? Oh, so she didn't know? <laughs> what kind of charity? For your organization, or what? Yes. To my fund. So now what? And now her mother is in prison. <laughs> Give her the necklace back. I can't. It's already sold. To whom? How do I know? I set the price. But the others sold it. You know perfectly well. And what about the money? What money? She sold it for 10000 I can give her back 10000 but what's the use? Mama. Don't mama me. Help her. I'm waiting for you upstairs. You still need to pack. There, one second. Hello, Artem. Do you also have an appointment? Hello, sir. Do I know you? We met once. Don't you remember? Sergei Petrovich. When are you going back to Moscow? I don't know yet. I decided to stay here a little longer. I see. Maybe it's good. What a coincidence. Are you interested in land in the historical center? It's a lot with the building. You know, I tried looking a couple days ago, but there was nothing. It literally just came on the market today. It's a private seller, but we already have way too many offers on it. However, I can mm. offer to you as an old acquaintance. <laughs> And will you be setting up an auction? Well, it's a business, you see? And what kind of plot is it? <laughs> Here. A great plot of land. In the center of the city. With big trees. A perfect place, huh? And who's the owner? The landlady. Yes? Here's your suit. Oh, thank you, Luba. Great. Very good job. Oh, hello, Artem. Hello. Goodbye, Luba. Mm -hmm. How are you? All right. Nothing's changed since yesterday. Hasn't it? And did you notice? The maid is new. Luba is her name. And where's the other one? She's been fired. She's been a thief. By the way, you should check to see if she's stolen something from you. <laughs> I didn't get it. Wasn't it your Volashina who was cleaning here? Well, that's just it. Better try to find out what happened, because for some reason she's selling the house. And she's not answering her cell phone. Mm-hmm.
Thank you. Let me see my mother right Go now. Go home already. You won't get permission. Well, then I'll just sit here all night long. Go ahead. Regina, have you finished packing? Almost. There's almost nothing left. Put it back. This is the necklace. What are you talking about? I recognize it. This is it. You bought it for a hundred dollars. My darling, this is my necklace. I bought it in Paris, on that trip when you weren't with me. Give it to me. No. Give it to me, Regina. No, you're lying. Regina! You're lying. You should be ashamed. Regina, give it to me. I'll bring it back to the store and get this woman out. <sighs> you're uh, hurting me. Calm down. Go. You're going to Mom. ruin a good thing. Mom. Stop it. That's enough. Give it back. No way. Don't you get it? This isn't right. I'll tell everyone. Well, first of all, no one will believe you. Second, telling on your mother is not nice. Third, who's more important to you, me or some other woman? And fourth, you've got a bone to pick with this maid because of Gordon. I've already forgotten about him. Mama, you're a thief. You are. And they're not. Give it back. The number you have reached is out of range or out of network. Out of range, out of network, out of coverage. So? No one seems to be home, and the neighbors don't know anything either. They don't know anything either? I didn't find anything out either. She quit her job on her own, she's not taking any of her phone calls. You know, I talked to hotel security, and uh... Mm-hmm. It turns out that her mother stole the necklace from the store downstairs where she worked. Well, I mean, you know what store I'm talking about. Are you kidding me? It gets worse. The daughter... It turned out she was aware of it as well, so she was fired. I can't even believe it. Yeah, I agree. The story uh -huh. is not really clear. Artem? Yeah. Tell me, have you accidentally lost anything? What exactly? Well, like some cufflinks or... Fetter, are you out of your mind? My bad. Yeah, it is. You know, this is what I can't understand. Now, if she's in trouble, why doesn't she call me, huh? Why do all these people that I don't even know always come to me with their problems? And the only person that I want to be useful for at least something doesn't even say anything to me. She just disappears and that's it. Why? We'll find her. Which? Regina! Hey there. Hello. Mm, you look great. Thank you. Are you all packed already? I just quit. What now? Could you give Gordon my resume? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really don't like what I'm hearing, Regina. Tell me what's going on. Hi, have you seen Sereja? No. Sasha, have you seen Sereja? Touchkin, what do you think you're doing here? Hello, excuse me, sir, but have you seen Sereja? What's Sereja? Now get out of here! Well, I have a deal you for You have him. a deal on the fifth floor, but stay out of here in this uniform. 
Well, maybe you know what's wrong with him. I've asked the waiters, they don't say anything. It's weird, they all seem to be mad at me. Maybe he's sick. It is all over for your Sergei. He was busted. What do you mean, mine? He's not mine? And what do you mean, busted? If he's not yours, I have nothing more to say. Find yourself another boyfriend. You got that boy spun out of his mind. He's willing to do anything to get away from you. Get out of here now, you Juliet. Why can't we see the house again? Well, I'm just the middleman. I don't even have the keys. Uh, the house isn't for sale either. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Looks okay to me. That's what the landlady decided. Mm. And where is she? Why doesn't she show the house? I have no idea. Word has it, she's crazy. So maybe it's better she's not here. <laughs> mm. Well, yes. When was the last time you saw her? Well, I don't know her at all. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. But the land is very good. Yes. Hello, Tanya. Hello, sir. I want to see the house, but the realtor can't get me in to see it. Maybe you can show it to me, hmm? He's not a realtor. Then who is it? He's my dad. <laughs> Hello, Tanya. But you said you didn't know the owner of the house. Hey, listen, who cares? Are we doing this or not? You came here to check out the land, not meddle in my private life. Right, Tanya? You'll show me? Let's go. I'll wait here. Listen, Ivan, you should pack your bags. You have three days to find a new kennel. Ivan, come here. Open the door, please. I'm coming. And we're gonna need some dough, so we can get ground. Uh, excuse me, where did you pick up these slang words? At the police department? There was this fat policeman who was talking to my mom, so I overheard. I see. Why didn't your mother tell me anything? I, I called her over and over. She's like me. I always let this one boy cheat off me in school, but I don't ask anything from him. Come on. Have some tea. It's hot. Why don't you ask? Because he's the best and I like him a lot. Well, thanks, but... But I don't understand that. He is very cute too, but not very bright. What do you mean? She won't ask you for anything. Because she likes you a lot. For a lot of good reasons, but not because you're a millionaire. My God. Well, she's afraid that you'll think that maybe... I get it, that's it. <sighs> and so it's easier for her to ask your dad for help, isn't it? Huh? No one asked him. He showed up himself when he found out. Rotten vulture. How much did he offer her for the house? 30,000. How much? 30,000. I'll be right back. Drink your tea. Mr. Realtor! Yeah. So, are we shaking hands? Do we have a deal? Oh. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? What was that for? You're a bad for? father. And here's another for the fact that you want to trick a woman. <laughs> Uncle Artem! Just a moment, Tanya. <sighs> so this is Uncle Artem? Yeah. Huh? Uncle Artem, so I can hit you back. You can't. I'm a buyer. Since you want my money, you'll do whatever I want. <laughs> so? Are you buying the property? Get out of here. Why were you screaming? Everything's okay. Are you sure? Of course it is. Oh, I nearly forgot one thing. 
have a problem with my memory. I have something for you. This is what I promised to give you. This is yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep it, it's magic. Hello. Hello. After you. Which floor? The first. Why did you push the stop button? I need to have a word what? with you. What? To me? About what? Where's the necklace? I'm calling the police right now! I'm asking you a question. Help! Where's the necklace? I'll scream help! Quiet! I know you can't talk, but your hands are free, so where's the necklace? All right, fine. I'll find it myself. Quiet! Quiet! Quiet, I said. Ha ah, ha Here it is. <laughs> What's the matter? Why aren't your bags in the car? I'm not going. What? I'm not going with you. I'm leaving you. What nonsense. Of course you're coming with me. No. Regina, you're nothing without me. Look, Irina, I don't need to be with you to be someone. I can just be myself. Thank you very much for your excellent education and work Are you experience. out of your mind? Did one night with this bumpkin affect you that much? Is it your hormones? I'm not a bumpkin. <gasps> <laughs> Your car is waiting. So, you are coming with me. That's nice. That's it. No, I am changing the terms. I'm going to call you mom, like the daughter that I am to you. Give me a hug, mom. You regret this. Oh, you have a fever. I'll tell you who has a fever. Felicina? Excuse me. But you're fired! I'm sorry. Oh, God, help. Up. Oh. Voloshina is on the premises. Get her out of here. Okay, got it. We are on the move. Sereja? Sereja, help me out. Please unlock the door. I'm at the service entrance. Hello. Thank you. What happened? Well, I turned in my pass, but I need to get inside urgently. Uh, Arena, Arena, listen. If you see Natasha, don't tell her you saw me, okay? Uh-huh. And why not? Well, I'm off to the army tomorrow. Today's my last day working here. I don't want her to know about it. Did you have a fight? No, it doesn't matter. Well, I see. Take care of yourself. Make sure to write letters. All right. I'll go see your sister and ask about you. All right, all right. Good to I'm see fine. you, too. Oh, hello. Marina. I'm so lucky you're here. What are you doing here? Don't speak, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <gasps> Thank you. Voloshina! <gasps> Give that to me. Security! Volobuev! Arena, hi. Did you get your job back? No, I came on my own. Have you seen Sereja? Oh, oh, Open the door, please. Please, I beg you, please. Open the door. <gasps> Thank you, I'm sorry. <gasps> it's all right. It's not what it looks like. I can explain. You can't open the door. Right now. Uh. No. No. 
You okay? Pretend we're not here. Volubuev, are you still there? Yes. I knew it. What about Natasha? Yes. Tell her that Sereja is being drafted into the army tomorrow. No need to tell me. I can hear everything myself. She heard everything. She's right there. Very well. Oh, God, this is not the end. They'll call the manager and they'll come here and break down the door. Excuse me, what will they break? They'll break your door. Ah. I'm a criminal, did you know that? Open up! I did. Aren't you afraid? No, I'm not. And what if I steal your silverware? You won't. You would rather sell the house for nothing than steal something. Why don't you want to buy the house? Artem? You know I came here to persuade you. You don't need to sell it. I really need money, please. You don't need money. You need this. Oh my god. God, this is... this... Where? Where did you get it? From the thief. The thief? Mm hmm Did you buy it or did you take it? Well, Fetter took it. He's better suited for that kind of thing than I am. <sighs> Thank you very much. It, it must be returned to the store right away. Mm hmm Fetter's already taken care of it. Really? Mm hmm But it's right here. He went downstairs to pay for it. I'm buying it. <sighs> mm hmm But why? For you. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Vasily, did you want something? Mm hmm. Frankly speaking, gentlemen, I'm a little busy right now. Don't tell me that the suite has already been booked and I need to check out. No, uh, but your guest... Oh no, she's doing just fine, don't worry about her. And if you don't mind, I'll call Fetter now so he can take care of other issues. And you can discuss everything with him, okay? Fetter! Yes. Uh, Vasily will be in his office in five minutes, so go mm -hmm. see him and work out the issue. I think you'll find that he has quite a story to tell you. In five minutes, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for your understanding. <sighs> Can I please get breakfast for two? At eight o'clock? No. Better make it ten o'clock. Sereja. What are you doing what here? What are you doing here? I'm walking. And I'm waiting for you. There's no need to wait Is for me. Is it true that you're going off to the army? Yes, it's true. So and what? And who will wait for you? No one. No one? My mom and sister. Mom and sister? Yes, mom and sister. And that's it? That's it. Mm. And can I wait for you to return from the army? Natasha, how can you ask me that? I'll be more than happy if you wait for me. Just don't tell anyone that I'm two years older than you, okay? Does, does it really matter? Well, just don't say it. Okay. You're so... What? Nothing. You're amazing. Regina. Regina. Hello. Hello. What are you doing here, huh? 
Well, there are no rooms available, and the suites are really expensive. What, they don't have any rooms? Well, the manager said that there are only suites. Well, what do you think about... I don't get it. About what? Well, about me, darling. And about that wonderful room on the second floor, with a very kind man sleeping on the couch. (laughs) So? (laughs) (laughs) So you're really going to let me stay? And you're going to sleep on the couch? Well, if you want me on the couch. Okay. (laughs) Okay, get up. Don't. I got it. Oh, I promise I won't be disrespectful. Although that couch is really hard. Good morning. Good morning. Are you leaving today? I decided to stay. Something has come up. Like what? You know, I decided to set up a hotel. A little one, I think. (laughs) And then what? And then we'll live happily ever after. But I do have to go on business trips. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm? Well, only if you promise me one important thing. I promise. Wait, I still haven't told you what it is yet. Anything. Thank you.